No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, this is Charles from No Film School. I'm here at the Hive booth at NAB 2017. We're talking to John Miller from Hive, and if he's really nice, he'll show us his tattoos. I don't know if that's something you usually roll out for the press. Um, so, John, you've got a new product this year, the Wasp 100C. Tell us about what's going on. Sure, so uh, Wasp 100C, we're debuting it here at NAB. Wasp 100C is our first Omnicolor LED. We call it Omnicolor because it combines the benefits of an RGB color changer with the benefits of a white light, a uh, full bicolor style LED. So that means you have a really broad color range. We have all the way from 1650 to 8000 Kelvin white light. And then on top of that, we have fully saturated light that gives you the full rainbow of colors. So to give you a sense of what that means, we have the ability to go to what you might consider like party gels, uh, fully saturated red, green, blue, uh, full color wheel. But we also have the ability to then take that saturation down. And that what that means is that we're able to treat those different full color outputs also like gels. Where you're able to use a combination of both your color temperature and your saturated colored light to really create any kind of combination of white light or stylized effect that you want. We both have an iPhone or iPad app. We have controls directly on the back of the unit that we hope are pretty intuitive. Uh, really four different ways to control it. Saturation, hue, output, and temperature. And then finally, it's fully DMXable. So we have the ability to control hundreds of these units on a DMX uh, lighting board if that's something you're interested in as well. All right, so I'm looking at this unit. I'm wondering, it's called the 100C. It's roughly equivalent to what kind of light in the traditional tungsten units? Sure, so you're looking at about a 650 watt uh, incandescent equivalent. So it's really designed to be sort of, you know, a perfect light for your travel pack in a three light kit. Maybe use it uh, running on battery because it only pulls actually 85 full watts. So you're able to run it off like a 90 watt hour battery for over an hour. If you have a bigger battery, we have both V-mount and gold mount plates that go with it. So it's really portable, really great as it sort of travel, ENG, run and gun, Daco light. If you're trying to match something like a camera, skin tone, or other lights, this is a really powerful tool. What's really difficult a lot of times is that you might see a color quality of light and really like it, but you put it on camera and it doesn't look good. Or more importantly, it looks great on one camera, you're shooting with a different camera on your next production, and now all of a sudden what was a great color temperature on one camera looks different on another. This allows you to counteract whatever that change is by having the ability to add points of color in whatever direction will match the sensor you're working with, the talent you're working with, or actually the other lights. We made a point of actually making this, it is a multi-chip array, but that chip array goes into what's called a mixing chamber. Best way to think about that is really like a white cup with the bottom and the top cut, cut off. That allows all of the light to bounce into each other and create a single mixed blended light. Then on top of that, we put a dome diffuser. Really think about it like one of those 60 watt frosted light bulbs. That's really the source. So we'll give you a single shadow and it's going to be treated like a single source and it's relatively small. So, so it's gonna have optical effects that are very similar to a single shadow bulb source. Beyond that, we have a variety of uh, different accessories that you can mount on this. You're able to take our, our standard 22 degree reflector, remove it, and mount on about a half dozen already available different accessories. We do some custom ones like our Super Spot Reflector, as well as a mini Source 4 adapter, which I love. Really cool little product. But then also you can use things like Profoto Reflectors, uh, Chimera Softboxes, a variety of uh, Westcott Bowen Softboxes. Almost any kind of standard photo accessory is accessible to be used with the Wasp 100C. So we've already started shipping our lights. We began in March. We're uh, through a good number of our Kickstarter backers now in April, but we're going to get through the rest of that in May. So if you were to order now, you probably would be getting your light in uh, beginning middle June. Okay, and what's the price point? So that's one of the things we're really excited about as well. This standard kit that comes with the reflector, the barn doors, the lenses, the power supply, and the head is only $1,052 list price. That's fantastic. That's a really good deal for such a powerful little unit. All right, so that's the Hive Wasp 100C. Hive is obviously most famous for their really high quality, high power plasma lights, but now they're moving into LED, but they're trying to bring the light quality of a plasma and the full spectrum control that you get out of an LED all together. It's an exciting unit. They're shipping this summer. Uh, really looking forward to seeing some of the footage people get with this. For No Film School, this is Charles Hayne at NAB 2017.